Have you ever thought of making your cat speak? Well, with object-oriented programming methods, it is possible. Before starting, just remember that a class is just like a template where you can create new objects or new types of cats. In the previous video, we focused on how to set attributes or, in other words, how to set the characteristics that define our cat class. Today, we will concentrate in methods. Methods are functions of a specific instance of a class and in our example, it shows us what actions our cat can do. To make our cat talk, we start by defining a function inside our cat class by using the def reserve word. Inside our function, we will include a self parameter that will represent the instance or that is to say, the type of cat that is being executed on. Followed by a print statement that will make our cat talk. Let's run our code and see what happens. Here, we create a new instance variable, namely a new type of cat. For example, a tabby cat. Again, remember that in our function, we include a self parameter that will represent our tabby cat. And now, how do we make our tabby cat say meow, uu, amakato? For this, we use the dot notation. For example, tabby dot speak. And when we execute our program, our tabby cat says meow, uu, amakato. But what happens if we add a new type of cat and make it speak? Well, it ends up saying the exact same thing and it's kind of boring, right? So how can we modify our code so each cat will say something different depending on their type? If you're liking this video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's answer this question. First, we start by creating our cat class. Then we are going to create a new variable, in this case type, and assign it to a default string value. And just like we did before, we continue by defining a function inside our cat class. And also, we are going to include a self parameter inside of our function to represent our types of cats. Then we continue by adding our print statement with self that type, where type will change depending on the type of cat. In this example, we're using an F string in our print statement. And if this is the first time you ever heard about it, I recommend you to watch my video on 5 tips on how to improve your code. But now, let's continue. Now let's see how each print statement changes depending on the type of cat. First, we are going to create a new instance of the class cat and name it Tabby. Then, we are going to change something. We want that the type of cat is set to be a Tabby. That is the reason why we will use that notation. We are going to write tabby.type and set the string value to tabby. So when we make our tabby cat speak, it will say meow uu ama tabby kato. And the same applies to the gray cat. We create a new type of cat by using our template, meaning the class cat. Then for that type of cat, we assign the grade value by using dot notation. So when we make it speak, it would say meow uu ama gray kato. Easy, right? And now it's your turn. Show me in the comments how would you use the speak method for this sphinx cat. See you in the next video. Bye.